Tick tock. It's time to race around the rock. Good evening and welcome to the Racer League. I am your host, Nathaniel Scott. This week, the Racer League is at Rockingham, North Carolina for the second race of the season. Our first race was at Coca-Cola, and that was high banks and fast turns. Now we go to a smaller track with some still higher bank turns. Don't forget, this season we have 40 drivers racing around the track. So, it will be quite interesting. Now we're going to go ahead and go to our pick'ems portion of the race, where our uh, commentators pick the drivers that they want to win the race. While they're doing that, make sure to drop your comment as well to let us know who you think is going to win the race today. But I'm going to go ahead and send it down to Ernie Dollarback, our in our pit road analyst, for his pick this week. Ernie, are you there, buddy? We're on the thing. I'm going to go with number six, Steven Nelson. He starts living today. I think he's in he's in line for his first win. Sue, how about you? I'm going to go with the 49 of Rod Ellison. He was involved in a caution early last week, and I'm thinking he's going to have a good rebound week. What? Well, I'm going to go with the number 45 of Skittle Wobble. Now, she starts back in 35th today, but <laughs> that's just a funny name to say. Skittle Waffle. So, Fanny, how about you? Well, guys, my pick is going to be the number two of Bryson Birchfield. Bryson starts today's race in the ninth position. If we know anything, a lot of our winners have come between the seventh and fourteenth positions. So that's going to be my pick this week. Some, uh, the, let's go over the qualifying though results, though, shall we? Starting first is the number 83 of Rene Rector. In second, the dominant number 17 of Christy Rector. In third, we have the number 55 of Tina Miller. In fourth, the number 32 of Eddie Phillips. Fifth, the number 8 of Mason Cecil. In sixth, we have the number 9 of Denise Rector. In seventh, we have Seuss Pick of the number 49, Rod Ellison. In 8th, the number 64 of Katie Harshbarger. In ninth, my pick, the number 2 of Bryson Birchfield. And rounding out the top 10 is the number 10 of Isabella. Some other notable mentions, though, that we can cover here as well. Last season's champion, the number 72 of Michael Rector, is starting in the 17th position. The very aggressive number 47 of John Jackson starts in the 28th position. The two-time winner last season, the number 57 of Scott Rector, starts in the 30th position. It'll be interesting to see where all of these drivers pan out. Drivers, to your cars. Sounds like the drivers have been called to their cars. So I'm going to go ahead and send it down to our in-booth commentators of Dwight and Sue. And I will see you for the mid-race report. Well, thanks, Nathaniel, for that welcome. My name is Sue Will, and I'm here with my counterpart, Mr. Dwight Flanders. Well, hi, I hope everything's doing all right. Hope you this late. Nice to be back here there, Sue. Sure is. Boy, would you look at all those cars. That's a lot there, Sue. Oh, hey, up in... A lot more than last season. It is. Hopefully they all make it this week. <laughs> Hopefully, last week, we only had 12 cars on the lead lap. That's crazy there, Sue. And we so had crazy. quite a bit of cautions. We're hoping this week we have fewer. Yes, we are. And more cars on the track, hopefully. At least more cars on the track. I think a lot of people like to watch the cautions. Well, watch sure. the accidents. 
Well, Dwight, that pace car is down. It is. There's Sue and Renee. And the 83 car is leading them down. And we're going racing. We got three girls up there in the front there, Sue. You sure do. Let's I see that 83 Renee up there. She was doing okay last season. She was. We got Tina Miller in the 55 behind her. She got off with a good start. She did. She jumped right underneath that 17 car, Christy Rector. She did. Now she's got her sights set on that 83. She does there, Sue. I think she's... As long as she can get some moves, she's got to watch that 17 car behind her because that 17 car was pretty dominant last season. She sure was. In fact, that 17, she, she was looking. She was trying to look for a move there, Sue. But it just wasn't happening. Oh, well, we got our first caution already. There, Sue. I wonder what happened. We'll find out shortly we as will. Renee leads them back to the line. Here we got the 26 of Bobby and the 31 of Simon Peters. Looks like oh, he got it. into it. Kind of got up there. I wonder if there was some stuff going on between the two of them earlier before the race started. That started all that. That looked pretty deliberate there from that 31. Sure did. He was in all back. And he just turned right down into it. Right in there. That Bree Miller, though, she was lucky to get out of there and not get involved in that accident. She she that was. In that car. She was. Well, they're getting lined back up. We're going to take our first break. When we come back, we'll be Green Flag Racing here on the Racer League. This break at the Rock in the Race Around the Clock is brought to you by the clock on your wrist, the clock on your phone, clock on the oven, the clock on the microwave, the clock on the coffee pot, the clocks! Welcome back to the Racer League. My name is Sue. How do you do? I'm here with my counterpart, Mr. Dwight Flanders. Well, hi, y'all. That was an interesting wreck we had there, Sue. It was. Didn't cause too much of an issue. Everybody stayed out as we just started the race. And that 83 of Renee Rector, she leads us with the number 55 of Tina Miller in second. In third, we got the 17 of Christy Rector. And in fourth, the 32 of Eddie Phillips. One. And in fifth, we got the number eight of Mason Cecil. In sixth, we've got Denise Rector in the number nine. In seventh, we've got the number 49 of Rod Ellison. In eighth, the number two of Bryson Birchfield. In ninth, we've got Ernie's pick there, the number six of Steven Nelson. And in tenth there, Sue, we've got the 88 of Daniel Haycraft. No, I believe that's Uncle Mike. Oh, that is Uncle Mike. I apologize there, Uncle Mike. I just was thinking all sorts of whack here. But we're going racing. We I, sure are. I'll try to cover it up with that. There you <laughs> go. That 55, she got, got a, another great move there, Sue. She got a great start. She, she just... Oh, you go, girl. Took over that lead. You go, girl. Look at there, Sue. We've got three girls in the top five. Or four girls, I'm sorry, in the top five. We sure do. And that 32, <clears throat> Eddie Phillips, he's looking to take second away, but Renee's going to shut the door. Yeah, yeah. That 55, Atina Miller, she's going to lead a lap. That's a bonus point for her. We got last week's winner, the 47 of John Jackson, back in the middle of the field. Yeah, he's pretty far back there, Sue. I'm kind of interesting to see him back there. Maybe he'll get some of his aggressive driving again and get up to the front. Sure. Here we got teammates at number one of Jay Shepler and the 19 of Tim Wabacher racing side by side. And there's a 21 of Jeremy Nelson. In front of him, he's got that 30, 13 car, I'm sorry, of Nathan Rector. Those are both showdown drivers they last were. season. They both were qualified. Both had a win last season. And they may nice see them come back out here with another win. It would. They both made it a couple rounds in the showdown. And they did, but they did not do so well last week. And here's our champion last last season, the number 72, Michael Rector. Oh, he is just so nice there, Sue. And you can, you almost, can see that he's the champion. He's got the banner there. That he does. Almost inside the top ten there, so he's looking on Uncle Mike to see if he can try to get up there and get himself inside the top ten, because, again, he also needs a really good finish here this week. 
And there he goes, putting the move on that 88. There he goes. And his last week, he finished towards the back and actually got negative points. So he needs some positive he points this week. He did, and he's, he's trying to take another position away there from the number six of Steven He Nelson. is on a move. He's got the pedal to the metal. He sure does. Or the metal to the pedal, I think is how he said it to us. There's a 41 of Aaron Nelson. Oh, look at there. Did you see there's, that? I did. There's 47 again. He's making his way there. Oh, my. Oh, my. I don't... I think I would have messed my britches with that one. Oh, goodness. There's no telling that they didn't right I now. Survived. That it, was... Whew. This track is definitely not as wide as we as the Coca-Cola track. But there's that that's that 47 being all aggressive like he is. Sure is, and 83, she's starting to put some pressure on that 55. She wants that leap back. We're under caution, so they're racing back to the line now. I think that 55, she's gonna get it there. Sue that Tina Miller. You go, girl. Or girls, I mean, the top two there. Sure is. Here we got Skittle Waffles. Oh, my pick to win. She's back in the... Oh, oh heavens. Oh, goodness gracious, Sue. Oh, goodness. Did you see Aunt Christy? I did. She was on her side, but it looks like they all drove away. They did. So that's nice. It looks like they're all coming down to pit road now. I'm going to send it down to Ernie and see what all everybody's doing. Ernie? Well, hey, guys. Yep, down here in the pits, everybody's looking at four tires and gas, trying to get themselves back out there. Not many adjustments too much for the lead drivers, but some adjustment for some of those drivers there in the back, like Jacob Banks and Eric Grechter. They're going to make some big adjustments on their car, try to get them up in the front. Oh, the car's kind of collided there. That Renee, a little upset with that 55, not letting her buy when she was the faster car. She let her know about it right there. The guys, they're going to get four tires and head out your way. Not the news that's going on down here. I'll send it back to you. Well, thanks, Ernie. That 55, she made it out. She got out there first there, Sue. That 17 car, she was in the pits for quite a bit. I think she was making some adjustments as well. She must have got some adjustments, last-minute adjustments. Yes, some last-minute yeah. <clears throat> Well, I wonder if this 83 car is going to take page out of the 84 car from last season because it was two race two three and four that Kaylee Banks last season finished second twice so I bet they shared some points before that team split I'm sure they did I'm sure but they're gonna line back up we'll take another break when we come back we'll do a rundown of the top 10 again see where all your drivers finish we'll be right back You are watching the Racer League here on our YouTube channel. I have been instructed to tell you to make sure that you subscribe to our channel and make sure that you read the ring the notification bell. Welcome back to the Racer League. My name is Sue. How do you do? I'm here with my counterpart, Fly Flanders. Hey, y'all. We got the 55 still leading the race at 91. She's a lap down, she so is. that's why she's starting down below. And in second, we got the 32 of Eddie Phillips. In third, we got the 9 of Denise Rector. In fourth is the 83 of Renee Rector. And in fifth, 49 of Rod Ellison. He was your pick to win there, Sue. In sixth, we've got the number two of Bryson Birchfield. In seventh, the 88 of Uncle Mike. In eighth, we've got the number six of Stephen Nelson. Ninth, my favorite, the number 72 of Michael Rector. And in tenth there, Sue, we've got the number 43 of Karen Ellison. She's one of our newer drivers this season. She is. Well, she's back in. She She's raced with the... Uh, with these racers before in another league, so she's not technically a rookie, though. That's correct. Well, here comes the green flag, and Tina Miller's gonna lead him as we're going racing. 
Boy, she just shot out of a cannon. She did get there, Sue. She is on fire today. She sure is. That 32 is trying to keep up, but she is. That, I, I don't think that he's going to be able to. I don't think so. They all, most of those drivers got around that 91 car of Aunt Christy. So I think that should be all right, but man, that 55 has a commanding lead on that 32. He does. Here's the number six of Steven Nelson. There's a 43 that we were talking about, a Karen Ellison. She joined the number 49 and 33. They're all teammates now. Oh. That 88 team is, a, is an add-on to the uh, the 91s. That's correct. 91, 72, and 85. So nice to see some, some teams expanding there. So Sure. They are racing. Oh, that Karen, she is trying to get around that number six car. Just and can't Steven, quite get She there. just can't quite get underneath there. I don't know. She's got her teammate on the outside. Definitely got some good racing here. We do. Fighting this to is stay really in the nice. top ten. Everybody's trying to get them points there, so you do not want to finish towards the back. Speaking of towards the back, here's a 48 of Max's Universe. Oh, yeah, yes. And teammate of 45 of Skittle Waffles. They are back there. Oh, heavens. Oh, 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 heavens. Oh, yeah, because they are spun out on the back stretch there, Sue. They are. And that 55, she led us to the caution. She did. Oh, I hope they're... Oh, oh God. Tommy Ray's there. Skittle waffles. And Tommy kind of gets into the back of the 19, and they just hit up. And, oh, heavens, they hit Isaiah. Jay Shepard and the number one. Oh, Bree Miller all the way in the back. She kind of hit the 26 of Bobby, but... I think she's I think she, she stopped all right. and got around there. She did. <clears throat> well, here yeah. they're getting lined back up and looks like some of the our leaders coming our down. Our leaders the pit. coming into the pits. Tina Miller, Ernie, what's going on? Why why are some drivers coming in and some aren't? Well, guys, the 55 tried to get some of the other drivers to come down with her, and they just didn't do it. Nobody bought it, so. Gonna be quick adjustments here for her and get her right back out there. And some of these other drivers that came in with her, like the 17 and that 91 of Aunt Christie, she's just getting some stuff fixed on her car. But Rod Ellison's in and the 17 of Christie Rector. That, that 17, she is not happy with what she's got. She was uh, in quite a bit the last time and some more adjustments for her this time, guys. And then she'll be back out on the track. I'll send it back to you. Well, thanks, Ernie. Oh, that 13 car came into the pits, too, with Nathan Rector. It was going to be real interesting to see, now that they're going to be at the back of the pack, but they're going to have fresher tires. They are, but this is not the track you want to have that on, because this is wide, or this isn't as, this is not as wide as the Coke, where we were at last week. That's correct. But with that, we're going to go to break. They get lined up. We'll be right back to the rectified automotive circuit entertainment racing league. Racer League is brought to you by me now. <laughs> Racer League is brought to you by this cat skin. Complete. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to the race around the clock here at The Rock. You're watching the Racer League. My name is Dwight, and I'm here with my partner in crime. Mr. Sue Llewellyn. How do you do? We're doing pretty good there, Sue. That 32 car, he's doing pretty good there, too. He's sitting up there in first. And then right behind him, we've got the number nine there of Denise Rector. In third, we've got the number two of Bryson Birchfield. In fourth, look at there, Uncle Mike has made his way up inside the top five. And in fifth, round out the top five, we've got the number six there of Stephen Nelson. In six, we got the 43 of Karen Ellison. In seventh, we got our pole sitter, Renee Rector. And in eighth, the number eight, of Mason Cecil. In ninth, last season's champion, the number 72 of Michael Rector. 
And in 10th, the number 57 is Scott Rector. He's a two-time winner, that Scott Rector, so he's made his way up there, Sue. So Slow and consistent. A, he may be a contender here nice as the pace consistent. car is out. That 32 car is going to lead us to the green flag, and we're going racing. A lot of these lead lap drivers are getting around that 91 of Aunt Christie pretty well, so that's kind of nice, but that 32 car, he just shot out of can. He sure did. I don't know, that 91, she looks she did hang on up there a, a little bit back better. Keeping that Denise record up there on the top line. And here's our the 55 of Tina Miller. She's got brand new tires on her car, whereas all these other drivers do not. She got around that 92 there with Kim Jackson a lot better. It's a nice new paint scheme for that number 92 car, though. It sure is, and that 49 of Rod Ellison, he also pitted as well. He did, and behind them, that 13 of Nathan Rector also pitted as well. So, see if that pays off for them there as they're coming up on that traffic. And here we got a rookie, the number 10 of Isabella. Izzy Bell, that is just a beautiful car and a beautiful name. She's on the bottom there, three wide and... Fighting for the top ten. I think she is there, Sue, and I think she might get it. You go, girl. She's one of our youngest drivers that we have out here on the track. She sure is. That 33 at Laura Ellison. <clears throat> She's going to put the fight on she there. She just... got a great run there on the outside, didn't she? She sure did. She just shot oh. out of that middle. Oh, that, that 88 Uncle Mike put that 57 car way up into the outside there just Scott, almost Scott tried to get down there and it just didn't happen almost went into the wall but almost that number 10 she's gonna hang on the 88 he's stuck in the middle him and Kaylee Banks stuck in the middle there hopefully they can try to get around some of this stuff and I don't know how that Christopher Bailey or that Kaylee Banks I'm sorry just left that 88 out there to dry in the middle looks like at 85 let the 88 down. That's his teammate. That's his teammate there. And then right behind that, their other teammate there, the 55 of, Tim, of Tina Miller. No? Oh, never mind. I apologize. I was mistaken. I thought they were all teammates. That's quite all right. But you see, that is the, the 55 of Tina Miller. She's worked her way all the way up there already. Already there, Sue. She's With the knocked, 49. She's knock, knock, knocking on that top 10 there, Sue. She sure is. And now look at that run there on that pressure tires. On the outside, able to make a pass on two cars. On that the girl, outside. That girl is determined to try to win this race. She definitely seems that way. Definitely seems she that does. way. She does. You can just see the difference of the pressure tires yeah, versus the old ones. Run right all over there. So that third or 49 there, Rod Ellison, is not far behind her as well. He also has fresher tires on his car. Sure does. Here's last week's winner, the 47, the John he, Jackson. Look at he's, him push that rookie out of the way there, Sid. Four wide. He pushed Isaiah right out of the way. And look, at he's bumping him all over the place. Isaiah's like, uh-uh, I ain't having that old man. I'd watch what you're doing there, Isaiah. That 47 is a strong car. He'll definitely put you in your place. He will. And that Look place at, is usually the wall. It is. It is. There's another example of those fresher tires there. That 13 car. Oh, look at there. The wall. There they go. There they go. Oh, looks like John can't get off the wall there. Come on, John. He tried to put hey. the 64 in the wall, but uh, I think the 64 re retaliated a little bit there. Just a little bit. But we stay green. We do. Nobody spun all the way around. But that's what that number seven car has to watch out for. So does this 99 of Bree Miller. You might just want to let that 47 car go there, girl. He'll put you into the wall next. Look at him right there. Not just right up on her door there as she as he went by. Well, here's a 91. Hey, Aunt Christy, she's a lap down. She's trying to get one of her laps back there, Sue. She's trying to little she bump has, and run. And look she also there. came to the pits as well. So she has a little bit of fresher tires there. She does. She does. And she got... She got around the, the leader of the 32 of Eddie Phillips. She did there, Sue. Sitting back there in second behind Eddie, we've got the number two there, Bryson Birchfield. Well, the 91 got a lap back. The 32's leading. We're going to take a quick break. We come back, we'll be green flag racing still here on the race lead. Hey, I'm Spank. I wondered what elevator 
elevator say to the other elevator? I think I'm coming down with something. <laughs> back to the race of me my name is sue how do you do and i'm here with my counterpart mr dwight flanders well hey y'all it's nice to be back here with you again we've had some great racing going on today speaking of great racing that 48 of maxis universe is passing that 32 that for car, the lead that car is looking fast there sue and look right there that 49 of rod ellison got right underneath that 32 that's the difference of Fresher tires. fresher tires there too, but that 48 didn't have any fresher tires. Maybe that 48 car just, Axis Universe just held on to the car a little bit and didn't wear, wear their tires out as much as the other cars. Well, that could be, that could be. And if you look back, just back and forth, we got the 55 of Tina Miller. That car is running so fast today there, Sue. So fast. Sure is. <clears throat> well, I like this new Maxis Universe car. It is spiffy looking. And here we got the 21 of Jeremy Nelson. Looks like he's trying to get himself inside the top 10 there, Sue. He sure is. Got that A car right there in 10th place. That 21 car looks like it's going to get it. He sure does. And that 21, where did he finish last week? He finished 13th. Oh, heavens. He was right there on the cutoff. Oh, here we got a battle for the lead between the 48 and the 49. Looks like that 49 car is going to get underneath the Maxis Universe car, but that slower traffic there the Bree Miller in the 99. Going to slow down Rod Ellison. Max of the Universe is going to maintain the lead. Sorry, I hiccup right there. That's quite alright. Quite alright. 48. Got quite a good lead right now. Yes, they do. We're going to send it on up to Nathaniel Scott for our mid-race report. Well, good evening and welcome to the Racer League Mid-Race Report. I am your host, Nathaniel Scott. We have had quite an interesting race so far. We had our first caution on lap two, involving the number 26 of Bobby and the number 31 of Simon Peters. How about that? I believe these drivers are having a difficult time adjusting to having 40 drivers on the track and not 30. What do you think? A second caution came at, at lap 13. This involved a few other drivers, the number 45 of Skittlewaffle, the number 91 of Aunt Christy, the number 26 of Bobby again, and the number 27 of Andy Helms. And our third caution so far has come on lap 21. This involves the number 19 of Tim Wallbacher, the number 45 again of Skittle Waffles, the number 7 of Isaiah, you guessed it, the number 26 of Bobby, this guy is crazy. Also, it involves the number uh, 1, I'm sorry, of Jay Shepler, and finally the number 4 of Tommy Ray. This is definitely shaking up to be quite an interesting race. It sounds like they have started the green flag pit stops. The leaders have not come into the pits yet, and we will update you once the leaders start to come down for their pits. But it looks like just all the other drivers are making just some their, their pre-pit stops ahead of time. It has definitely been an interesting race, having you know a handful of drivers involved in multiple accidents. sounds like there's been a caution out so I'm gonna go ahead and send it down to Dwight and Sue to get that replay and fill you in on what just happened but I will see you after the race well, thanks Nathaniel here we have the two teammates there the 9 and the 13 and Jay Shepler underneath there there were three wide racing in there and just kind of ran out of room that one car just bumped into the 9 of Denise Rector and he sure did oh heavens that 13 just ran straight ahead on to Jay Shepler there. 
Not sure good for that, that was, there's the... That was quite a hit. Oh, heavens. And then the 17 car... Oh, heavens to Betsy. Oh, heavens to Betsy, there's two. That 17 car is on her hood. <laughs> she sure is. Oh, heavens. Here we'll follow see what happened to that number 10. You see, they're trying to avoid they're everything. Move. They didn't know which way to go. That 10 car just bunches right up into that 17. Isaiah turns the 17 car around. 17 car just goes on her hood. Slides right down in front of that number nine. Well, half the cars have already pitted under green. They're lapped down, so all our lead lap cars now are coming to pits. Ernie, what's the word? Well, guys, just like the green flag pit stops, everybody's taking four tires. Uh, well, except for that 17 and 10, of course. They're going to try to fix their damage. Same with the number nine. I don't know though. They got a lot of work to do. Not many adjustments though for our leaders. Uh, the 55, she's gonna take four tires. Gas will be out. The car's been pretty fast today, fellas. But that's gonna be all the adjustments that the cars are gonna make. And I'll send it back to y'all. Right, Sue? Well, thanks, Ernie. Looks like the 48, 49, and the 55 are gonna lead them out of the pit road. And see where they line up after the SF 17 car, though. Both sides. Well, if nobody else comes down to pit, they're going to line up at the back of the pack. They are, and on the lead lap, so we know how determined that 17 team is. Well, they're getting lined back up. Nobody else is coming to pit road, so this is going to be quite interesting when we come back to the racer. You're watching the Racer League, and I hope that you're enjoying this race so far. <laughs> but really, I know why you're all here. Oh yeah, it's me. So make sure you drop a comment in for me, huh? Maybe I'll give you a shout out. Welcome back to the Racer League. My name is Sue. How do you do? And I'm here with Dwight, my counterpart. Well, hi, y'all. Welcome back to the Race Around the Clock here at The Rock. We got 29 laps left. And I know it looks like that 33 of Laura Ellison is leading the race, but that is not the case. It is not there, Sue. We've had some interesting stuff going on here as they sorted it all out. We had a caution come out during green flag pit stops and that threw everybody a lap down and then when the caution came out they all stayed out to get their lap back so right now they're all in front of the leader but our leader right now is the 48 of Maxis Universe and Rod Ellison in the number 49 car is in second and then third that 55 of Tina Miller. She has been fast today. She has. There's still in fourth. We've got the number four, Tommy Ray. But, Sue, that pace car is in. Laura Ellison is going to lead us as we're going racing. They're all fighting to stay on the lead lap they right are. now. they got to keep themselves pushing there, Sue. Hopefully a caution again to sort all this stuff out. We do have some cars a lap down, though, too. The bad part is, if a caution does come out, we got our leaders at the back of the pack. So they got to be careful. They definitely got to be careful. Like that 55, that. she's taking that. Oh, buddy. Oh, heavens. Oh, heavens. 23, hit the. Oh, heavens. Dude. That 55, she crossed the line first. That Max's Universe did get around it, I think. I believe you're correct. With, with little damage onto that car. That car just spun right around. It did. Didn't touch the 48. That's crazy. I'd go back and see that again. But we got that caution those drivers wanted. And that 55 hits the 23, and that 23 goes up into the 99 of Bree Miller. 55 made a pass in the grass. And she did there still, but that's going to put her out there up front. Sad to see that there. Just kind of 
nowhere else to go, but yes. Oh, heavens. Did you see that, Sue? I sure did. That 99 car, Brie Miller, she just spun right around that 48 car, Max of the Universe. Right around. I'll tell you, that driver was lucky right there. We had a quite a bit of lucky drivers as everybody in front of the leader gets back on the lead lap now. That's nice for them. And look who's back in the lead. Y'all guessed it. That number 55 of Lower Ellison. Tina Miller. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got it all confused. Ow! I deserve that. Well, as Dwight put some ice on that wound, we're going to take a break. And we'll be right back. Why'd you have to get so hard? You're watching the Racial League. And they say, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? But, if you think about it, there really is no need for the thimble in the Monopoly game. Welcome back to the Racial League. This is the Race Around the Clock at the Rock. I'm your host, Sue Llewellyn, and I'm here with my counterpart, Dwight Flanders. Well, this is kind of like a co-host thing, I would think. I'm still a little mad at you for smacking me earlier. That's quite all right. You'll be fine. You have to give me flowers to make up to it anyway. But, looky there, Sue. We've got that 55 there of Tina Miller this time in first. In second, we've got your pick to win there, Sue, the number 49 of Rod Ellison. And He's he doing won, quite well. I want to say, on a track just very similar to this last season. Behind him, we've got the number 32 of Eddie Phillips, the number 2 of Bryson Birchfield, and in fifth, the number 6 of Stephen Nelson. In sixth, we got the 48 of Maxis Universe. In seventh, we got the number 4 of Tommy Ray. In eighth, the 92, ninth, we got this number seven, and in tenth, the 33, Laura Ellison. That we do there, Sue. Pace cars eye out. Tina Miller is leading us to the green flag as we're going racing. Sorry, I had to speed that up there a little bit, y'all. That Uncle Mike is holding on there. He's trying to get his lap back there, Sue. Well, he's got it back right now. That he does. Oh, Tina, you got to watch out there. That rod, he's pretty quick there, Tina. Got to watch out there, girl. Yeah, he's oh, talking. heavens there, Sue. What's going on now? We're back under caution. We sure are. Heavens to Betsy. That's the product of 40 drivers. But in that number 88, he got well, his lap back. He did. Well, that's a plus for him. See what happened here to cause this caution. Two car. Or three wide back there. Three wide. 23 in the two. Oh, the two car just put the 23 into the wall and took himself with. Oh, and we are all sorts of clawed up back there, Sue. We sure are. All sorts of clawed up. He's on board at number 85 at Christopher Bay. He's in there. And he's like, oh, heavens. Oh, heavens. Wait, he just squeezed out of there by the hair on his buttocks. Sure did. Well. And with that, we're just, we're just going to take a break. Welcome back to the Racer League. This is the Race Around the Clock here at The Rock. I'm your co-host, I guess. Dwight Flanders, and I'm here with the host, Sue Llewellyn. How do you do? Well, he's my co-host. We do this tag team. Anyway, the number 55 of Tina Miller, you guessed it. She is still out there in the lead there, Sue. She is. Behind her, we've got the number 49 of Rod Ellison, which was your pick to win this week. He's he looking sure pretty was. promising. Third, the number 32 of Eddie Phillips. In fourth, the ever-so-lucky Max of the Universe, the number, four, the number 48. And in fifth, Sue the number four of Tommy Ray. It's nice to see him up there towards the 
in the top five this week, so what do you think? Oh, yes, absolutely. He had <clears throat> quite a rough season. He did last, last year. season. Yes, he did. So it's nice to see that team rebound. It is. Now, he's going to line up behind the number 99 of Bree Miller, who is a lap down, but since we're under 10 to go, she will not come down. But Tina Miller is going to lead us out as we're going racing. She got another good start. She did. She is on fire this week there, Sue. He is. There's that 48. That's, that's another car that's on that fire. That it is. A lot of these cars up here in the top five have been there most of the day. So it's nice to see them up there. Oh, goodness. Sorry, I had to burp again. I got the hiccups, Sue. That four, Tommy Ray, he's making a pass at the end. He is. There's a rookie, the 28, of Jacob Banks, and his teammate, the 84, Kaylee Banks. They are pushing their way up, trying to get up inside the top ten there, Sue. They are just outside right just now. Just outside. And they're working their way in. Oh, heavens. Bree Miller got up into the wall there. I hope she's all right. I think she is. Nothing. No cautions or anything are out. We're going on that two is bumping all over Kaylee Banks there, Sue. He sure is. Here's our last season champion. Oh, yeah, yes. Fighting to stay in it's the top ten. Inside the top ten. Oh, yeah, I don't know if that eight of Mason Cecil just pushed him right up there to the top edge. But I think he's going to get that good run there on the outside to maintain his spot there inside the top ten. We have seen that outside work a few times we this race. We have. I think more better in three and four. Than one and two. They just get a better run as they're coming off of turn four. They can carry some momentum sure. off the turn. But that 28 car, he is. He was involved in one of those it. cautions a few he's laps ago. There, so I think he's going to get himself inside the top 10. Let's see here. There it is. Inside the top 10 there, Sue. That 28. You go, Jacob. You go. Well, here we got the number 92 of Kim Jackson. She's They're fighting to stay in the top five. That she is. She just got around that Max's Universe car. That's another driver. She's got a great paint scheme there. I love that pink on that 92 car. Very nice. Kind of like co-sponsors there for that team. They're both running the sure. same team, just different colors. I like that. Tommy Ray's looking himself up there. Trying to... That's a three-way battle up there for a second there, Sue. It sure Going is. Going on, and I think that 92 might try to catch up with them. Well, with Zayko mm -hmm. racing, that's what it's going to allow him to do. We have just a few laps here left, Sue. Just a few laps. Yep, three laps to go. Oh, heavens. And that 55 car, look at that, Sue. She's got over a two-second lead on these drivers right now. She sure on does. That five. is dominant today. She definitely had her face going on. Well, we got a... Oh, heavens. That 49 was waving. He's coming down pit road. Ernie, what's going on? Yeah, guys, that 49, he just reported in. He's got a tire going down. Thinks he ran over something there. When uh, they had all those cars going off, he don't think they cleaned the road off. Just good enough. He's coming down, and so is that 28 of Jacob Banks. Guys, back to you. That is a shame. That is. They were running so well there, Stu. that 49 was your pick to win this week. He was. That's all right. That 55. Fancy. A Tina Miller, she took the white flag. She did. That's the last lap. Well, Coming up on a lapped car. Oh, heavens. You just got to get around that Kaylee, Katie Harshbarker there. Tina, come on, girl. You just got to hold on to just it. Just hold on to it there. I think she's going to get it. There it is. There's too, that Tina Miller going to get her first win here on the Racer League. Her first season joining us, too. That's correct. And she just qualified herself for the showdown with that and win. She did. That's right. So she's going to be fighting for the championship. Here towards the end of the season. Well, thanks for joining us this week here on the Racer League. Stay tuned for our post-race report with Nathaniel Scott. And join us next week, Tuesday at 7, here on the Racer League. That'll do, sir. That'll do. Good evening and welcome to the post-race show. I am your host, Nathaniel Scott. Again, this was a very interesting race filled with many cautions. We actually had six cautions throughout this entire race. I covered the first three at the mid-race report. I'll go ahead and cover the last three and get you caught up. 
That caution that took us out of the mid-race report involved four or five drivers. It involved the number nine of Denise Rector multiple times, the number one of Jay Shepler again, the number 13 of Nathan Rector, the number 17 of Christy Rector, and the number 91 of Aunt Christy. It's a very devastating accident, though, for the number nine of Denise Rector. Our uh, fifth caution came on lap 61. That involved the number 99 of Bree Miller, the number 23 of Dylan Birchfield, the number 28 of Jacob Banks, and the number 7 of Isaiah. Rookies this season are definitely struggling. Our final caution came on lap 66. This involved the number 2 of Bryson Birchfield, along with the number 23 of Dylan Birchfield, and the number 6 of Stephen Nelson. But the finishing results our winner this week was the number 55 of Tina Miller. She has now qualified herself for the showdown. If she gets one more win, she will qualify herself for the championship race at the end of the season. Finishing second, though, we have the number 32 of Eddie Phillips, who has been the quiet one as of late and carrying momentum from last season. In third, we had the number four of Tommy Ray. In fourth, the number 92 of Kim Jackson. In fifth, the number 48 of Maxis Universe. In sixth, we have the number 85 of Christopher Bailey. In seventh, the number 43 of Karen Ellison. In eighth, the number two of Bryson Birchfield. In ninth, Last season's champion, the number 72 of Michael Rector. And rounding out the top 10 was the number 21 of Jeremy Nelson. Like I said, it was definitely an interesting race involving having multiple cautions. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and go over the point systems as we currently sit. In first, we have the number 85 of Christopher Bailey. He has two top 10 finishes, with one of them in the top five. In second, we have the number eight of Mason Cecil. In third, the number 21 of Jeremy Nelson. And in fourth, we have the number 92 of Kim Jackson with her fourth place finish this week. Last season's champion is the number 72 of Michael Rector is currently sitting 26th in points. Then we also have the elimination line, where drivers from 37th down will be eliminated at the end of the season if they are below this line. Currently, those drivers are the number 6 of Steven Nelson, the number 13 of Nathan Rector, the number 19 of Tim Wabacher, and finally, the number 10 of Isabella. Like I said, these drivers will be eliminated from the Racer League roster next season and will have to race themselves back into the roster for the Racer League Season 3. Well, thanks again for joining us here on the Racer League as we raced around the clock here at The Rock. I am your host, Nathaniel Scott and make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the Racer League action. With 40 drivers and negative points you never know where your favorite driver will finish and end up in the points. So you want to make sure that you don't miss any of the action. Also make sure to invite your friends and tell your friends and family about us so that they can join in on the Racer League fun. And this has been an amazing time here. I am your host, Nathaniel Scott, and I will see you next time. Racer League is brought to you by Ben Sound. And images were provided by Google. Don't forget to like or comment below on what you think of Racer League. And throw a heart in for me.